What's up guys, Warman Reaper back again with another video. Um, we're going over settings today. On the game page, um, only three things really matter here. Automatic RAM clear just kind of broke. Some people have it on. I used to have it on, but I turned it off just because I have a third party one. And um, use physical cores. Everyone has this on, but it's not really all that functional. And we'll be using another process to help us fix that as well. The third thing people don't mention on this page is the FOV. If you don't have a great computer or you're experiencing small stutters or even like I would call it just non-fluid like kind of chunky gameplay just turn your FOV down and moving on to graphics so you could pretty much just copy down whatever I have here as you can see I'm running at 2k my build's not really all that crazy I have a 2070 and I have a Ryzen 7 2700 so going down the list here um borderless to my knowledge is the better option it adds roughly eight more frames from what i heard after that would be texture you're only supposed to have lower medium texture unless you have a higher card but the safer bet for most people is just lower medium shadows low object led should be 2 or 2.5 2 if you're having like more problems keep overall at a thousand anti-aliasing is personal preference between taa and uh and taa high your sampling should be off and then we come to the um upscalers to my knowledge, uh, 1.0 is not that great, and it's a flip between DLSS and 2.1 for preference. DLSS gave this ghosty and like kind of blurry effect, so most people I know go for the FSX 2.1. But uh, if you don't, you just leave them off. HBAO. Uh, to my knowledge, HBAO should be off. If you have a better system, it should be on max performance. Um, SSR should be off. Uh, anisotropic filtering is kind of playable. Um, I, I run it on Protexture. Low latency reflex should be set to on plus boost, but real quick you have to set it to off and then enable the V-Sync and then put it to on plus boost because otherwise it bugs. Sharpness will be put to zero and we'll touch on that in the control panel. Everything at the bottom should be uh, empty. Don't have any of those checked. Uh, post effects does lower your frames. I would recommend you do it in your control panel. Otherwise, I mean, I guess you can keep it enabled, but it does use frames. And uh, here you should disable binaural audio. It's been causing everyone a massive amount of problems. There's a third party fix for it. Onto the control panel. I don't own AMD and I can't really speak for it, but it probably has similar options to the NVIDIA control panel. So honestly, you're gonna have to play around with it. As for NVIDIA users, honestly, just copy down what I have in your manage 3D settings. Make sure to go to program settings and just like escape from Tarkov. This way you don't change your global settings. We disable the sharpness in game. You get the sharpness in the NVIDIA control panel, you go to image scaling. Turn this on and you set this to a certain percent, you know, just like in game from zero to year one, the exact same thing as this little slider, so I, I usually play at 50. Now, we basically just go to the list and you just copy it on what I have. Make sure OpenGL rendering GPU is set to your graphics card. Now make sure power management mode is set to prefer maximum performance, and then set preferred refresh rate to the highest available. Now, let's just go to adjust desktop color settings. Um, this is mostly personal preference, but this is your new post effects. Brightness and contrast are explanatory. Gamma helps you at nighttime, and digital vibrance is your saturation. This is what my settings are, so if you want to use my settings, you can use my settings. After that, there's also another fix that you can do for your audio, which is called DTS Unbound. Um, mine came with a free license for this program, otherwise I think as a trial. A few people have heard got it for free, but some people I've heard had it, has it as a trial. But um, this replaces your spatial audio, this fixes your audio in-game. You download this, you make sure it's all set up, and then um, if you have Windows 10, I believe you can right-click your speaker in the bottom right, and it should have a spatial audio pop-up that you can change it, otherwise you'd have to look it up, because I don't have Windows 10. But um, for Windows 11, you, you click on the speaker, open up your sound, you go to your, you know, open up your settings. And then you go inside your, your sound setting for whatever you're using, and then you, you'll see it under audio enhancements, there's spatial audio. This fixes your directional sound in game, gives you more precise audio or generalization. If you install Process Lasso, what this is, is it's basically just a superfied version of the task manager. All you have to do for this, find the escape from Tarkov.exe, and then you right click it, and there's two things you need to do in here. You need to go to CPU priority, go to always, and set it to high. Next, you need to go to CPU Affinity, go to Always, disable SMT. Otherwise, uh, if it doesn't say SMT, it'll say like, um, it should say hyper threading. After you disable SMT, it should get rid of the hyper threading cores, which should make your game run a little bit better. On to Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. 
So what this does is it basically sits in the background and it purges all of the memory that's currently being um, re like purposed for other programs basically. Anything that's in the background, it'll start shutting all that shit down and it will basically just keep it down while you play your game. Um, I'm, I'm at five right now as you can see, or at five, it's because I have a lot of things open. Like, um, you know, obviously we have Premiere Pro's open, there's a lot of memory. We got uh, the Tarkov launcher, we got a browser, we have a ton of things open using up memory. But yeah, obviously you set like a limit. You set a limit here, right? You set a limit here of uh, a little lower than what you have at max. And then um, you can pretty much just press star and anytime it gets below that memory count, it will automatically purge the cache, which um, actually helps a lot. It helps a lot. And you know, it's that time again, the uh, video is coming to an end. Um, I thank you for support. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I hope this video helped you, but uh, I'll see you guys later.